What's up everybody, this is Charlie from 100 Acre OTK and today we're talking about the five worst or possibly the most challenging cards to use in Disney Lorcana. So I went on the Facebook groups and I just asked the question, what do you think is the worst card in Disney Lorcana? And I got a myriad of choices. So let's just get started. These are not in any particular order. Some may be better than others. Yes, they have their uses, but if you're currently using these cards, they're probably slowing your deck down. Without further ado, let's touch base with the first one. The first card we're going to touch is Stampede. Now, Stampede is a emerald card. It is non-inkable. It is a one cost and its effect says deal two damage to chosen damaged character. That means you need a character on the field that you've damaged to use this card on one. It chooses, so anything that has ward, it doesn't affect. And two, it already needs to be damaged. Now, a lot of the challenging that takes place currently wipes out characters. So there really is no time to use this card a lot of the time because a lot of times people just, they either don't exert their characters or they're not damaged at all. Or as soon as they damage their characters, they heal it with like a Punzel or a Jasmine. So there are rare occasions where you can use this card, but for the most part, people consider this a dead card. So if you don't have a damaged character on the field, you can't use it. One, it's uninkable, so you can't ink it. And then two, it has its niche uses where it can be effective in like a steel deck where you probably, you body spread some damage with big tank and then you can use this card. It's not seeing a lot of play and it's not the best card to be using. Obviously there are better cards like Fire the Cannons. Fire the Cannons, it does what that does. Fire the Cannons is an all around better card. It just chooses and does damage. It does the same thing, but it doesn't have that requirement of a damaged character. It makes sense for the flavor, the stampede, but that's pretty much it. A person here says, stampede has been dead in my hand every time I've drawn it. I completely understand. I feel your pain. Card number two is if it's not Baroque, it is a three cost uninkable Sapphire action card that says return an item card from your discard to your hand. Right off the bat, it's uninkable, making it a little bit less desirable than any sort of inkable card. Two, return an item card from your discard to your hand. Now, there's not a lot of reasons for item recursion at the moment. Whereas Tamatoa does the same exact thing and you get a body on the field and it's inkable. So this card right here, it's extremely niche. It's not really effective in this chapter. Could be effective later down the road when we have an extremely powerful item that you have to have on your field. But right now it's not seeing any play whatsoever. It's a dead card in hand. If you're if you're not running items, you shouldn't be running this card at all. And more often than not, you're probably going to be bricking with this card in your hand. So be mindful. Sapphire, if it's not broke, Cogsworth, I'm so sorry. This time we're not hacking it. Some players have said if it's not broke and it isn't close, it's uninkable. It's too expensive. It's a rare and there's no room even in an item deck for it. Look at that. No matter how niche they are, every other card mentioned has a better use case. So it's not broke. It's looking like one of the worst cards at the moment. Card number three is another Sapphire card and it's the card work together. Now this card actually has one thing going for it. It's inkable. <laughs> Let's all clap our hands, right? All right, it's inkable. And what does it do? Chosen character gains support this turn. Whenever they quest, you may add their attack to another chosen character's attack this turn. Why is this not a good card? One, it's an action card and you can only use it once. There's a card that does this and you can use it multiple times over and over and over again. And it's not an action card, it's an item card. And that card is Scepter of Arendelle. It does the same exact thing and doesn't leave the field unless someone breaks it or someone uses a beast on it. So why would I play work together if I could play Scepter of Arendelle? It's the same cost. They're both one costs and they're both inkable. So it only makes sense to play Scepter of Arendelle. Scepter of Arendelle is a better card. So play the Scepter. What are some people saying about work together? They're saying this. Work together is definitely the worst card because Scepter of Arendelle exists. It's in the same color and can be used multiple times. I think that kind of speaks for itself. Another card that's not very good at the moment is Frying Pan. Now there have been moments where people have used Frying Pan and it's helped them where it stops a character from challenging, 
But for the most part, listen, challenging isn't how you win games. Where you win games is questing. So if you're focusing on someone not being able to challenge, I mean, it's really niche. Whereas if it said, you know, it keeps your character from questing, that would be a godlike card. But unfortunately, frying, frying pan as an item card gets kind of lost in the mix of the steel cards. You don't really see it that often. You might see it every now and then in an item deck, but for the most part, it's going to have its uses. It's going to be used once and it's gone forever. Frying pan is one of the worst steel cards in the color. And the last card we're going to talk about is Ransack. Ransack is a two cost steel action card that says this draw two cards then choose and discard two cards first of all it's a neg one so you're going to be drawing two cards and then discarding two cards for two ink you're not gaining anything really yes you're drawing cards so that you can get a better hand but for the most part ransack you're ransacking yourself the only real benefit of this card is that it's inkable pretty much it you're better off playing a card like simba where you can get a body on the field draw one card and then discard a card on play that's a much better steal option than ransack also tinkerbell kind of does the same thing when you exert her you can draw a card and discard a card that's a much better option than this at least you have a body on the field ransack not cutting it i hope you enjoyed this video be sure to like subscribe i'll see you guys next time